Hi there, so I got a Kasika art and I mostly do a lot of experimental stuff. Um, this is one of my portraits that I've been doing uh, using Sketchbook. It's my first one trying to use Sketchbook and using a, a more like my, my oil techniques that I've used in the past, uh, real life techniques using Sketchbook. Now, Adobe Sketchbook is not that bad of a program. It's really simple, it's super simplified. Uh, it's not like Photoshop where you have a whole bunch of little widgets that uh, you can do better things. Uh, Sketchbook, I think, is more for traditional artists. Uh, like you can see, for example, I'm using my traditional like arts techniques where I'm using um, a lot of a lot of techniques that you picked up over the years using oil painting. And uh, the thing that makes it uh, so good is just it's just that it feels like it is for sure like this oil classical uh, feeling to it, depending on what brushes you take. Um, now the most difficult part of the only things I don't like about Sketchbook uh, you might see later on is that it doesn't I haven't figured out on how to save colors it's not as easy as uh, Krita or GIMP or Photoshop where um, it saves automatically the colors you've used so as you can see my technique that I've been using is that I put it on the side uh, and that's the technique I've been using uh, it's a moment, but it also adds to like, that like classical feeling I feel like uh, where you do in real life, you have limited colors, and it helps you to limit my colors. Um, that's something I might go over uh, uh, later videos with when I decide to make more tutorials and whatnot. Uh, but you can see, for example, like um, I'm using all the, those old techniques now. With this um, particular painting, um, I'm using mostly some brushes. Um, like you can see, like uh, on, the, on the left side. You can see the multiple brushes that they are. There's a lot of brushes that do different things, and they actually do work like as, like mimicking the particular brush, pencil, or marker that they use. Now, the thing about that, it's it's cool that it works that way. The thing that I caught me by off guard most likely was that sometimes with a marker, uh, it does act a lot like a marker to the point that it does saturate uh, whatever's around it. So in one of the paintings I did, I did that but it is saturating some parts that I didn't want to. So I ended up sticking to just like at least uh, 10 different brushes. Uh, one of them, them for blending, some of them to make the colors, um, just put the colors as much as I can. Um, in this one, uh, it took me a while for sure because to figure out, um, I mean, it took me a lot to figure out, time to figure out. I mean, every time you, as an artist, you get a new program, you gotta definitely know how each brush works and what it wants you to do. So as you can see, for example, like I'm trying various brushes to get the the feeling that I want and like the, the you know the smoothness that I want. Uh, in this one, uh, something I do a lot in my other paintings is that I have defined lines. But in this one, I try to make it not as defined. Uh, so that's why you see me playing around with the lines. So even though I can't see them, I'm just tracing over them as I'm painting. Um, that's usually like that's I think that's really cool to have on sketchbook uh, and, and especially in digital painting uh, in real life oil painting even though you I draw over things I still have to guesstimate where I put things before uh, but that's why I love a lot about a lot about I love about the digital medium uh, in this one I'm trying to make the eyes look more appealing because uh, something about the eyes for sure when painting eyes is that. Uh, it's easy to have dead eyes. Uh, what that means is that you can draw eyes, but they don't look organic. They don't look a part of the painting itself. So a lot of things that I do is just add a little bit of like shine to them, a little bit more depth to them, and just make it look aesthetically pleasing. Uh, this painting with the skin tones, um, definitely practicing sc uh, skin tonage um, in the sketchbook. Like I did, um, I did like a beer, a, a beers from uh, Dragon Ball C. You can check that in my Instagram. Uh, and I did practice a lot with him. I feel like that painting definitely was worth a while, but I didn't record it. <laughs> it would have been awesome to record it for all like Dragon Ball C fans. But you can definitely check it on my Instagram. And this, uh, it was one of the first Adobe Sketch paintings that I did. No, like what the thing about Adobe Sketch is that like um, I'm not as used to using it. I'm used to using GIMP, using Krita, which are more like Photoshop. Uh, later, on, later, later on, you might you guys might see that I'm gonna definitely use more Photoshop. Um, Photoshop definitely has a lot of more to offer. Uh, there's a lot of like it's, a lot of artists use it more. Uh, so there's a lot of more tutorials rather than Sketchbook, where Sketchbook doesn't have as many tutorials. 
And for some reason, our community is not as vibrant with a sketchbook more than Photoshop. Like Photoshop it seems to be a go-to medium for a lot of artists, um, just because of the of, of the many of the many tools it has. Uh, and this one, you can see, for example, like I, this video will look a lot different from other uh, videos you might see where uh, people are using Photoshop and using all the tools uh, available. In this one, you can see that I'm using a more traditional style, like I'm using digital painting, but I'm not using any fancy tools. I'm just using my brushes just the same way that I, I would normally, uh, which I mean, it's okay. Uh, I think that's my preferred way of doing things for sure. Um, but it's definitely a, a, a lot different from how other artists you can see that they like uh, they know how to saturate they know how to encompass uh, art a part of their painting to modify it um, I still haven't done that I still go for my traditional style I learned when I was a kid how to do digital paint uh, not digital uh, traditional painting and I learned how to do uh, uh, faces and, pro and, and profile pictures mostly because I learned from this guy in Puerto Rico where he did a lot of uh, caricatures and I learned a lot from him uh, where it makes it easier for me to learn about faces and how to make faces look appealing and look normal uh, and I use a lot of like, techniques that I learned uh, from him in my paintings when it comes to portraits like portraits are for sure my strong suit uh, they're for sure like if it's my comfort zone I try to step out of my comfort zone at times and definitely try to do more body paintings do more uh, landscapes, but they definitely don't feel as home as doing a portrait. Um, in this one, of course, you can see that I'm doing Okoye from Black Panther, a phenomenal movie, by the way. Uh, if anyone wants to see it, it's 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 a good, it's phenomenal, and it's one of the characters that stuck out most out of the movie. She seems definitely more iconic, uh, so I think I thought for my first sketchbook por portrait to definitely draw her. Um, as you can see, like. Uh, a lot of things that I'm doing with this one uh, is that right now it's erasing because uh, <laughs> it's hard to, uh, with the brushes that Sketchbook has, it's hard to do fine lines. So what I end up doing is just uh, over overdrawing and then erasing because the eraser has is more fine than the, same, the brushes that I use. But it's definitely, uh, they definitely like uh, something that I couldn't do in, 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 uh, in traditional painting, where in traditional painting everything has to be perfect. And if you mess up once, you just gotta paint over it and paint over it and paint over it. In this case, you can definitely you see all the layers that I'm using in order to keep progressing. Uh, now, if you guys are more definitely more interested in seeing more of my art and seeing what I do, uh, I definitely recommend following and seeing where I lead. I'm always gonna do something different. I'm always gonna progress, and it's always gonna be amazing. Uh, follow me on Kofi on Kofi uh, and Instagram. I have a Damian art, and I'm gonna put in the links below. And as you guys might see, you guys see me progressing in my art as I have time. I usually don't have time. Time is really limited in my life right now, being a student and working full time. But um, hopefully in the future, I'll be able to do more art and definitely showcase more of my skills and be able to do more uh, portraits and do more tutorials and definitely be more a part of the art community that I want to be at. Like if you have some a skill, I always recommend people to show it because um, it's always nice to be able to see that there are more people out there with passions. So. Uh, give it a like, uh, give a comment, and I'll hopefully I'll be able to talk to you guys more later and hopefully do more things and have more of a community.